To be able to get an orthonormal basis, you first need an orthogonal basis. This means that all of the vectors inside the basis, you can take any combination of their dot products and they should always equal to zero. You always have to check this first if the set is actually pairwise orthogonal. The only thing that an orthonormal basis adds is that you take this orthogonal basis and then you also normalize it to length one. So for example, if you have a question here that says normalize this set where v1 is 1, 3, negative 1, v2 is 2, 0, 2, and v3 is 3, negative 2, negative 3. The first thing that you should do is not take the question's word for it and actually check that they're orthogonal. So you should be taking each combination of each dot product. So starting with v1 and v2 here, uh, you have 1 times 2, which is 2, plus 3 times 0, which is 0, plus negative 1 times 2, which is negative 2. And that's equal to 0, so we're good. Now just check them for each of the other combinations, so v1 and v3 here, and then v2 and v3. Each of these are also equal to 0, so this is pairwise orthogonal. Now that we're done with this, we can move on to step 2. Step two is just finding the length of each vector, and I have a separate video on this if you want, but basically you just find the square of each component and take the square root of all of that. So for v1 here, it's 1 squared plus 3 squared plus negative 1 squared, which is 11. So the square root of 11 is the length. Now doing it for v2, we end up with the square root of 8. And then the length of v3 here is 3 squared plus negative 2 squared plus negative 3 squared, which is the square root of 22. All right, now we're on the third and final step here of getting our orthonormal basis. Uh, let's create some new vectors, calling them u1, u2, u3 instead of v1, v2, v3. We'll start off by taking each component of the original v1 over the length of v1. So the first one is 1 over root 11, and then 3 over root 11, and negative one over root 11. For u2, again, we're just taking the original components of v2 and putting it over our found length of v2. So that's two over root eight, zero, and two over root eight. And then for u3, we've got three over root 22, negative two over root 22, and negative three over root 22. And that's it. So now if you just put u1, u2, and u3 into curly brackets, that creates a orthonormal set. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.